All right, what's going on, people? I'm your host, Double R, and you're now tuned in to Retro Rob Television. Salute to my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. And salute to my original subscribers for always holding your boy down. I really do appreciate that. All right, so let's get into it. The moment you all been waiting for. Reed Dollars versus Rum Nitty. Now, I went live with this video, but I couldn't hear the sound. So I say, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and record it and drop it that way. But we're here, people. Now, before we get into it, I want y'all to understand the way that you all judge battles is not the way that I judge battles. And why do I say this, people? Is because there's a lot of people that tend to get emotional over an opinionated sport. Don't blame me. Blame Smack. Blame the other leagues for not having judges. This is just my opinion. So with that being said, let's get to it. Okay? Rum Nitty. He comes out of the gate. I don't know what it is, people, but Rum Nitty is not looking like the Rum Nitty that I'm used to seeing. Um, he usually has decent name flips, not like B Magic, but decent name flips. But his name flips was horrible. You feel me? We're just talking about the first round, okay? Um, his punches were in spurts. You know, he punched in spurts. Usually he's punching back to back. Again, not quite like B Magic, but, you know, second under. So, Rum Nitty, I scored him one, two, three, four and a half. He had a four and a half in the first round on the read. Now, it was a lot of talk about Reed. Um, I wasn't able to catch any of the battles in the SMX event, you know, Summer Madness event. But I caught the after party and I caught when DNA and them were discussing the battles and they, when they were talking about Reed versus Rum and Jay Black said Rum won the, won the battle and um, DNA and them had Rum winning the battle. And then I looked quickly in the comment section and the people actually had Reed winning the battle. So I said, damn, I'm going to have to cover this. And here we are. So Reed Dollars, he comes out. And one thing I'm going to tell you guys, as I say it with T-Top and as people say it with T-Top, we have to keep that same energy with Reed. Um, although we like where Reed is headed, we have to keep that same energy. And storytelling is not bars, unfortunately. Now, people can say, well, you can have bars within the storytelling, which is true. But Reed didn't. All right. So I gave Reed was pretty good, though. He was pretty good in the first round. I scored Reed one, two, three, uh, four. So Rum Nitty actually won that round because I gave Rum Nitty a four and a half. So it could be a debatable round. It could really be a tie. That round could really be a debatable round because the way I just scored it, it might be people having rum winning and might be people having a uh, read winning the first. All right. But the storytelling does not equate into bars unless you actually have real bars within the story that you're telling or punches. And I judge by the elements of rap. What is that? Bars, punches, delivery, flow. Only delivery and flow if it's equating or it's a bar at the end. Or it's a punch at the end. You know, wordplay, stuff like that. Creativity. That's what I'm judging. I don't judge off of performance like the rest of these guys. You know, I don't judge because somebody unzipping their jacket or they warm up jacket. You know, I don't judge like that. Okay. I don't judge because somebody is overly aggressive. Okay. So let's get to the second round. Um, just like his counterpart, rum was loud. Well, rum was loud, uh, but not hidden again. I don't know what's going on with rum nitty. He was loud, but it wasn't landing. Um, name flips is still light. They're still weak. 
still weak. It's not adding up or equating into a punch like it normally does with Rum Nitty. I don't know what's going on. So Rum Nitty's first two rounds were super beatable. Were super beatable. And I had Rum Nitty with three points. Moving on to Reed. And just like his opponent, Reed was weak. He was weak. Um, I'm going to say this about Reed, right? I know why y'all like him. I know why y'all like him because he's overly aggressive. Reed has always been overly aggressive. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I like Reed versus Sue Surf better. I like Reed versus Chess better. This Reed was the weakest that I've seen. You know, and it's funny because a lot of people said that this was one of the better reads. And he washed, he washed Rumnity. Where he, he, he just clearly didn't. But ironically, he was in the position and Rumnity put him in the position to do exactly that. But let's move on. Um, just like Rumnity... Overly aggressive, loud, but wasn't landing. Wasn't landing. And I'm going to say this about Reed. Reed is rapping mixtape bars. He's rapping mixtape, a written mixtape style. You know, like he's on wax. And, and, and I know a lot of you would try to come to his defense and be like, well, you know, B Magic does that. A lot of guys sound like they rapping on beat. Here's the thing. Those guys have an innate ability and Reed is going to have to work on this to make it seem like they're rapping actual battle rap format. Okay? Reed is going to have to work on blending in his mixtape style and kind of making it sound more battle rap, if that makes any sense. If it don't, tough tits. You feel me? This is my opinion, people. So... Underneath all that aggression and Reed getting loud, more oftentimes than not, from what I've seen, it usually doesn't equate to anything. Now, just like I said in the Sue Surf battle and in the uh, chess battle, Reed will shock you. Reed will throw some nice jabs. He'll put together some nice combinations. He'd throw that left hook, that right hook. Hell, he may knock you out. But more often times than not, Reed is going to have to work on that. You know, he sounds like he's rapping on beat. He really does. And a lot of people, you know, might sound like that, but they do it to where as though it's not as obvious. Okay? So with that being said, even if you know, I know a lot of people will be like, well, you know, even if he sound like he rapping mixtape stuff, he always been doing it. And you said he did good against surf. See, people like to switch what I say to, for their own convenience. But that's only if while you're telling the story or while you're rapping the mixtape versus your shit is actually a real bar was actually a real punch, which is not the case for Reed in this second round. But I did give him two points. I believe this is the round where he said, the way I had to walk on wave, I had to skip rock. That was fire. That was flame. That was flame. And a, a red rum joint. The red rum. Those was flame lines. Those was nice lines. Well, the red rum, that was a solid. That was a good one. But the way I had to walk on wave, I had to skip rock. That shit was flop. That shit was fire. That shit was fire. You feel me? Um, so I gave him a two. Gave Rum Nitty a three. So Rum Nitty edged that round as well. So we have Rum Nitty uh, 2-0 going into the third. A 2-0 edge. Now, we could just say a debatable. This could be a debatable. This could very well be a debatable. Because if I have it scored tight like this, you better bet it's going to be a lot of people that have Reed actually winning, which there is, okay? But this is how I scored. The way that you scored, 
might not be more often times than not is not the way that I score because we're not the same people. Okay. Going on into the third. Rum Nitty comes out of the gate. And what do you know? Rum Nitty is looking like Rum Nitty. Very good read dollar flips. Very good read dollar flips. Now I told you Rum Nitty was decent to solid. More often times than not with the flips. You know, he's not going to woe you. He's not going to make flips turn into punches. But he's pretty good. Where Rum Nitty is good at, where his strength is at, is the setups into the bar. Is the setups into the punch. Rum Nitty has very good, very decent. No, he has very good setups. You feel me? So Rum Nitty had one, two, three, four and a half. Very solid. And y'all got to realize, you say, oh, four and a half. Oh, that's not this. You got to realize these are probably only three minute rounds. Very short rounds. You know, it seems shorter than that. The way I was listening to it and looking at it. Okay. Now, moving on to your boy Reed. Now, this is the round where Reed was kind of looking. He wasn't quite looking like everybody was saying. And this is why I got to break it down. Because a lot of people uh, exaggerate and make it seem like this. And I can see how people can say that. And see how people can see how. Because Reed is aggressive. And it seemed like because he's barking, he's really dropping bars and dropping punches, where it's really just filler. Re-aggressiveness is just filler at times, more, more often times than that. You see what I'm saying? Now, again, he will surprise you, which he absolutely positively did in this round. Um, this was the more better round of the night. For Reed, he did very good this round, finished out solid. I gave Reed a one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So Reed had a five, Rum Nitty had a four and a half. Edging the third round to Reed, this could clearly, clearly be a debatable battle. This is really a debatable battle. Because if I have it scored this tight, it's no wonder Rum Nitty is going in an interview saying he won 30. Which is totally not the case. I can't see how he got that. But of course, it's him. He's going to say he got the, he got a 30. And Reed didn't say he 30 Rum Nitty. He, he said he's going to let the people decide. But he did say a couple things to lead me to believe that he clearly beat Rum Nitty. And I can see how he can see that. Because this battle was so close well that's my time people i'm your boy double r make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the bell icon to receive all new notifications for when i drop new content all right love y'all peace